Danny Hay makes nine changes to the side that started the 7-1 win over New Caledonia. Only Matt Garbutt and Callum McCowan retain their places in the 11. Stepan Marinovic sees his first action of the tournament in goal. Joe Bell, Libby Kakachi and Eli Just all start, having come off the bench three days ago, as does Bill Tui Loma, who earns his 30th cap. And I think a key part of this phase of the game is the patience that the All Whites show. You know, don't get too rushed about it. Just uh, bide your time, pick the right pass, and, and, and then the opportunities will arise. Nico Kerwin hits the deck in rather heavy fashion under the challenge from Keck in Christchurch in 2012. A World Cup qualifier won 3 0 by New Zealand. Michael McGlinchey scoring two of his five international goals that night in Christchurch. Again, it's a robust challenge, and this could be another yellow card as Matt Garbutt is the recipient this time. The, the gap in quality between the two sides. So for Samuel Garcia, yes, you know, it's a, it's a massive day for him and his team. But uh, as I say, free hit, you can, uh, you, you'll, you'll absolutely do your best in there. Well, almost a chance for Chris Wood, and there were calls for a back pass then as the ball came in from Kerwin. It eluded a couple of defenders. Obviously, game number 64 for him, which also draws some level with Vaughan Coveney in terms of appearances. It's third most. Ivan Vissalic's top of that list with 88. Another foul on New Zealand player Matt Garbutt this time. Patch of grass inside that penalty area at the near post. Kakachi delivers into that region at the top of Reed. Bell wins the tackle. It's climbed all over the top of and again there is real consternation in the New Zealand camp at the physicality employed by the Tahitian side. Joe Bell clutching his head. You can see Winston Reed demonstrably furious here with the tactics being employed. They're calling for assistance for Joe Bell. I think this is Eddie Caspard. He comes in on Joe Bell, there he is. Yeah, well, a bit of space to work him down the right. Quickly closed down by Eta. Fouls Nico Kerwin. He doesn't necessarily agree with the referee's decision, but it will be a free kick for New Zealand. Obviously, they've kept the scoreline at nil all through the first 30 minutes. Gachi on the far side looking to deliver. The cross is good. The header from Garbutt. Best opportunity of the match for New Zealand and Matt Garbutt couldn't get it on target. Delivery was excellent, unmarked in the six yard box. And Matt Garbutt couldn't apply the finish. Yeah, mate, got to put this away. And that the floodgates do open at 70 minutes. Three quarters of the goals by the All Whites scored in this tournament have come after the 70 minute mark. Coming together again of players, Kaspar involved, and Winston Reid looked as though he had his foot trodden on there. And Winston Reid's been issued a yellow card. Just getting, getting across, trying to make it really difficult for New Zealand to play forward through the centre of the park. And, uh, and he has made affected a number of tackles for his, for his side as well. New Zealand come away here through Garbutt. McCowett raiding outside. Wood in the penalty area. How's the delivery? Doesn't beat the first man, but McCowett will get a second bite at it. Bell with the shot. Good save by Tiamote Ito. Down to his right. On target from Bell. Pressure building from the All Whites. Good, good strike from Bell. Good work from the goalkeeper as well. Let them uh, carry on with New Zealand in possession. Tui Loma. Kerwin. Ian Garbutt exchange passes. How's the delivery from Kerwin? It's across the six yard box. Going to find it by back to Garbutt. McCowan. Callum McCowan deflected. Tiamote Ito in the right place again. It's also the combination play of the likes of Just McCowan and Garbutt. Obviously, Makawa at times drifting into a striker's role. Garbutt dynamic in midfield. Kerwin delivers. Watch there, Wood. The flick off the head of Chris Wood. Couldn't quite direct it on target, but gives the thumbs up for the delivery from Nico Kerwin. A final chance for New Zealand before we go to half time. Quick check of the watch from Abdul Rahman Al Jasim. Final kick. 
Oh, yeah. That's too big for Garbutt. And that might be all she wrote in the first half here. Indeed it is. Our thought arm and Al Justine brings first half proceedings to a close. Kakachi to take this corner. Again, there's hustle bustle in the area towards the far post. Tuilova back across goal in the six yard box. And straight at the goalkeeper from Winston Reed. Tiamote Ito gratefully grabs it. Winston Reed looked likely to score his second goal for New Zealand. Anywhere other than there, and that goes in. Guys, Bill Tuiloma is a threat at set piece time. Kakachi can't find McCowett. And then his frustration sees him go through on a player. And the referee wants a word to Libby Kakachi. And Libby Kakachi is in the book alongside his skipper Winston Reed. The usual suspects are all there. Reed, Beinecke, Tuiloma, Wood. Bell delivers, it's good too. And off the line this time by Tahiti. Bill Tuiloma with the header towards goal and cleared off the line by Mona Eta. They're banging on the door, New Zealand. And that would send Beach Haven into raptures. Kakachi keeps that one in with the help of the breeze, I think. To the edge, Eli just this time. Just wide from Eli just. It's set up pretty nicely for him. Hands to the head of Eli just as another chance goes begging. You can catch it as well here to keep this in. Alex Grieve into the action. Callum McCow, it's not as done. No, they're, they're not breaking down this defence, so something needs, you need some sort of circuit breaker, and maybe someone like Joey Chapman is, is that. Yeah, he appeals as a player who would go well against some tiring defenders. Here's Kikachi looking for Wood, who goes down in the box, nothing doing. Grieve across goal, bouncing around, Garvin. Kikachi who tucks it in. The goal arrives, and it comes from the boot of Libby Kikachi. A first senior international goal for Libby Kakachi, and finally the dam bursts. Kakachi's been up and down the left a lot in the second half, and he has opened the scoring for New Zealand here. And he starts to move, knocks it inside. Just check there, they have VAR now. Chris Wood goes down, and it's bouncing around. A bit of pinball comes off Matt Garbutt, and there Libby Kakachi continued his run into the six-yard box and puts New Zealand ahead. Bell to take another New Zealand corner. Towards the far post to Iloma. Well, you told me to hit it down. He did. The bounce off the turf and Doha took it up and over. Yeah, this has been one of the, the best avenues for New Zealand in the game. And oh, Bill Tui Loma, oh, oh. he'll be disappointed with that. He's bounced it over the crossbar. Yeah, it's a good opportunity. He's got free of his marker. So Smith on for Pineke, an appearance for Tim Payne. Yeah, right back. Smith wins a powerful header. Pulls the way of Garbutt. Grieve is off on a run into the right wing channel. Pursued all the way by Apepi, who looked like he went through the back of Grieve there, but he got the ball, says the referee. I bet Alex Grief could hear him coming too. They got lined up as got, well. He got a lot more than the ball. Tommy Smith getting the call from his goalkeeper to let that one travel past him. Just gives it to Kakachi and is collected. And it'll be a late yellow card for another Tahitian player. Grieve gets away from his man and bursts forward. Alex Grief. That's come off his hand, unfortunately. Well, he's fouled about three times in the, in the lead-up to that. Then he gets shoved off the ball. And it'll be a, another yellow card dished out. The All-Whites have been quite practical, pragmatic so far this evening. Haven't been led by their egos, haven't pushed for the second and third goal, even though the chances provided have meant that they could have won 3 or 4 nil at times. New Zealand successfully negotiate another step on the path to Qatar. It took them a while, but patience eventually trumped frustration. Libby Kikachi's first international goal has been enough for the All-Whites. On to the final, they go. Full-time in Doha. New Zealand won.
Tahiti nil.